everybody, welcome back to the Couch Capital Gaming Plays Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. We're back at the Forsaken Fortress, and we're here. Here to rescue our sister! Not only from the giant bird, from all the other, but from all the creeps that live in this goddamn for fortress. But first, I'ma run up and get go straight into the searchlights. Oh, what's this? New enemy! It's Phantom Ganon. You know, it's he looks so weird. Like Remember Ocarina of Time? Remember the final battle in Ocarina of Time? Yeah. Well, we'll throw throwback to that. Playing tennis. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a little freaky looking. He's like, he's got a super buff arm, then he's got a skinny as hell arm. You know? Hey, right. Come on, you bitch. Let's go. Like, the buff arm's the one that holds the sword. Yeah. Come on! Okay. Yeah, you can actually deflect his own attacks back with the bottle, believe it or not. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, Nintendo's got all kinds, does all kinds of weird shit for fun, for like boss, for like certain fights. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you can, you can reflect his attacks back with a glass bottle. Uh, in Twilight Princess, you could distract Ganondorf with a fishing rod. And I think you could do the same thing in Ocarina of Time with, with deflecting the, with deflecting his attack back with a glass bottle. And I always thought that was fucking hilarious, you know? It is. I got a sword now, assholes. What you gonna do? Stop. Hammer time. <laughs> I wonder how many people have made this joke when they when they first hear it, when they first see that. You two can die. Hammer time. Yeah, because, you know, you just got a giant freaking skull hammer. Motherfucker. It's the fucking mini ones again. Let's see. Okay, just do this. Whack them. Yep. Searchlights. I saw people who had their house, full, big full house, and they brought in a bunch of ball pit balls and filled their whole house with ball pit balls. <laughs> and they were playing whack-a-mole. Every time I think of ball pits, I think of that of that one episode of uh, The Big Bang Theory. Yep. When Sheldon has a freaking, uh, starts, has a, a little bit of a meltdown, and he goes, and uh, well, not so much a meltdown, rather he, um... Ah, oh, what's the word? Oh. oh, I can't even get that joy pendant. Oh, screw off all of you! Fuck you, mini ones. Easily the most annoying enemy in this game. They were jumping off their roof everything. Their little dog from the <laughs> On the staircase, right? That was so cool. I'd love to do that one <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. I was talking about the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, there's an episode of the Big Bang Theory where Sheldon kind of just kind of goes a little cuckoo, and uh, <laughs> uh, he's like, and, he, and one day he actually one night he actually breaks into like a Funland arcade or whatever. Yeah. And uh, this is actually quite funny. Uh, he starts. He breaks in and starts sorting the the. The plastic balls by color and size. Oh wow. Just die. But that's so cool. It's the whole house. Probably uh, deep. Uh, Probably talking. At least six feet deep. Mm -hmm. You better be a bitch get around here. Mm -hmm. Gotta be a way up. Oh, 
New, new enemy floor masters. They are assholes. You could really say you feel like you're living on a gumball machine. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm trying to figure out how to get to this top floor here. It's like, okay, I think this is the way. Lasers! So anyway, uh, yeah, Sheldon kind of went crazy, and he's trying to sort the um, the balls by size and color. Wow. Because he's like trying to prove some kind of a uh, theory of his, and uh, <laughs> he ends up uh, Leonard ends up, you know, going after getting going in after him in the ball pit. All the while, Sheldon's like popping up and down like a fucking uh, prairie dog while going bazinga. <laughs> and, it's like, and he pops up so and down so quickly, I cannot help but laugh each time I see it. I gotta watch that later. I'll have to show it to you. You might get a good laugh or two out of it. <laughs> bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> and then he just buries himself in the ball pit again. I got a sword this time, bitch! And your knife. I forgot I was supposed to move the damn searchlight back again. Oh, you yeah, got these fucking mini ones, man. I think they took the moblin that was on duty away just because they knew people wouldn't be able to stand the mini ones more. the shortcut so even if I so if I get knocked off I have to do this again oh well it'll be worth it when I can beat the ever living shit out of that, gi out of that giant chicken I do need to take out that damn searchlight over there. Stop with these goddamn searchlights. They're so bright. Screw <laughs> off, Mini Glenn. I 
my ass. I won't leave. Next recording, I can do the Shadow of the Colossus. Think you might want to do a Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah. Okay. I'll play that one. Okay, I can still. Okay, you can sit in the gamer chair while I, uh, you know, comment, commentate. Okay, good flash. Yeah. Next, do the next game and take a break and then not only take maybe yeah. two recording sessions. Mm hmm. Oh, right, the, bo the box is missing, so I can't just go through. That's fine. I remembered I can use my leaf to get across, even though the uh, swings are gone. Mm -hmm. Do you do one recording of boss? Uh, yeah, I'd say do one boss per recording, so you don't, wanna, you don't want these to run too long, you know? No, they'll run 25 minutes each. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on how long travel time takes, so that's the thing. I was just thinking that you would just go to the boss and fight the boss. There's one video for fight. Yep. Easy enough. Yep. I would recommend getting some practice in, though, before that, just because, you know. I did. Huh? Remember, I was practicing a few weeks ago. Mm, that's true. Bye. You can die. More sacrifices to the Master Sword. You can die. You can die. <laughs> you can die. And you can die. And the rest of you goddamn mini blends can all die. <laughs> I got that 80 song stuck in my head. You can dance. You can dance. Even you can dance if you wanna. Yeah. You can die. You can die. <laughs> Crushed to death. God. I think I speak for everyone when I say many ones fucking suck. They do. Okay, for reals this time, let's get in there, rescue our sister, and hopefully not get yeeted by the giant bird again. You can't really get yeeted by him again. Hmm. Well, the real issue right now is this goddamn mini blend that's wandering. How is it like spider manning its way like that, you know? It's like these things are part spider. Yeah. Back up. Back up, bitch. I got a giant hammer with your name on it. <laughs> it's a rush. Is that a hammer? What? It's like a hammer. Oh, yeah, it kind of does look like the top half of a hamburger, doesn't it? Now, that's the switch. You need to use the, um... Uh, how are we looking on time? Thirteen. Yeah, we got time. Yeah, that's the switch you gotta use the mount the hammer on to open the door. Uh, burger switch. <laughs> yeah, you'll see a couple of them. Okay, Link's like, okay. No bird for real this time. I mean, is that so intense? I'm so sick of eating this nasty granola. Big Brother! It looks too, it's the two, the two girls from uh, the Windfall. Like, oh, there's the door. I forgot that existed. Hi. Hey, look, it's Tetra. How'd you get in here so fast? <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, there's Tetra. Yeah, so the reason why the bird didn't attack us right away was because Tetra had, a, had, had her crew distracted. Oh, she recognizes the sword. Hmm. How can it be? <laughs> I 
Yeah, one of them's a rich girl, one's a poor girl, and there's little Errol. Mm -hmm. So happy! Okay, now we have to get our vengeance on that giant fucking bird. Wow. <laughs> Let's give that overgrown chicken a piece of our mind, shall we? This is actually a pretty interesting boss fight coming up, you know? Yeah. She's got that look on her face like, did I fucking stutter? <laughs> <laughs> how, old, how old is Errol anyway? She, she probably can't, she can't be any older than... She can't be any older than 10, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's say she's like maybe 8. I don't know. Big, big ass bird. Time to meet your death. Hey, you both want to get out of here. This room's going to flood soon. This is a very cinematic boss fight, actually, especially once we get to, like, the, the top of the arena. So, just gotta move quick for this part, you know? Uh, if you do happen to fall off, don't worry, there's, like, there's, like, little, um, things overhead that you can use the grappling hook on. Oh, I see you right there. Yeah, you can use your grappling hook on them. And that can you can use that to help get back up in case you fall off for any reason. <laughs> the, the damn bird just killed the Bacabla. Fuck off Bacabla. Hey. He'll block the way. This is actually a good photo op, but it won't be a very pretty pose. Guess what, birdie? Here's a hammer in your face! That's for taking my sister, you bitch. Alright, let me hop up here. Slowly. And there he is again. Oh, he's pissed now. There's feathers everywhere. And this bird must be going through multi season or something if he's got he's shedding all these damn feathers. So he is pretty straightforward to beat. Dodge him when he does this. Slam the hell out of his mask with a hammer. We also gotta be very mindful of what he does, because because it's a little hard to tell if he's going to land or scrape his feet on the ground. Well, come on then. Each swing, that crack gets a little bit bigger. I actually remember getting a good photo off of him, like flying through the air once. Uh, yeah. I think he's supposed to be based more off of Phoenix because of the long tail feathers. Yeah. See, like that's. Yeah. See, he was getting ready to. He scraped his little talons across the. Across the field. Okay, he got me that time, but it barely did anything. Thought you could get me that time, did you? Yeah, he'll do this a few times and eventually he'll land again, you know? There we go. 
but the mask is broken, and you can see he's actually got glowing red eyes. Okay. Yeah, once the mask is gone, you can just wail on him with your sword. Because that mask is made of some kind of steel. Well, come on. Attack me with your damn beak. And like, just like that, he's done. Mm -hmm. uh, shedding feathers everywhere. He's not dead per se, he's just hit the flying away. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he evaporated into malice. All that's left of him now are all these damn feathers. Feather storm. <laughs> I got my I got my vengeance. Take a souvenir, take one for But the souvenir. fight's not over yet. There's still one more asshole to deal with. Are we doing on time? Twenty one. Okay, let's okay, let's go confront this guy and then we'll call it, right? Okay. Just wanna do the whole thing? Hmm? Just want to finish it? Well, there's there's more to it than this, but we're confronting this guy. Because it was because of under his orders that that fucking ch overgrown chicken stole our sister. Now the bird's dead, and he's next. So come on, Ganny. Let's dance. Been a while, boy. I was sneaking in my fortress. <laughs> Wasn't so much sneaking as much as I was like slicing my way through. Right. Yep, there he is, old Ganny in the flesh. <laughs> and Link's just. Oh, Dog is just looking like, uh, why does this guy look so familiar? That sword out of its pedestal. Did you notice how the monster is frozen in time now that it suddenly begins stirring, stirring again? Right. Say, like, yeah, I killed them all. Sort of key, the most wretched little key. Oh, crap a doodle. We accidentally unleashed his power. Oh Fuck off, buddy! He's like, I missed! I fucking missed! <laughs> and, oh, bitch slapped. You tried to do the first step, the first few episodes. Oh shit, she got grabbed. Oh, what's this? What's that thing on around Tetra's neck? Oh shit! Tetra was Princess Zelda? Tetra was Princess Zelda? Oh <laughs> like zone out for a minute there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh oh. Rumbling. Oh. It's like, what the? They're gone! Hey, look, it's Kamali. He got his wings. And there's Quill, the postman. He's looks pissed. And, oh shit! Blue's pit. Baloo looks pissed. This is payback for the butt bug! I'm oh, sorry, I should have said this is payback for the hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> it 
they got away with meanwhile Ganondorf still in the tower is still in the fortress going it burns is that right donkey she has really lost consciousness yeah he looks so much mature now he looks like he doesn't look anything like the whiny brat we saw before that's Prince Kamali remember Uh, I forget what Velu says here. I know, I, it's like I know what he says, but I can't remember the exact wording. I'm curious as to how, how Carl got all the way out here when he was still by, you know, the Forsaken Fortress when, when we were fighting the bird. Uh, Velu isn't Dragon Roost in the opposite direction. Pretty sure Dragon Roost Island was in the opposite direction that they flew in, right? I think so. Hmm. Oh hey Tetra, you're awake. Good. Were you watching me were you watching me sleep? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? Well, you got burned by a dragon. Hey. Who's using this stone? Who are you? How'd you get on my Wi-Fi password? <laughs> hmm. Alright, so... We have to go investigate the room where we found the Master Sword. Because there's someone there waiting for us. I'm gonna talk to King Red Lions, he won't even acknowledge you. Tetra, Tetra, what are you doing? Hey. Okay. Come on. Okay, well, we're gonna go investigate the, uh, sword, the, the room where the Master Sword is located uh, next time. Because right now we're kind of approaching our time limit. Cetra, you are probably just sopping wet now. <laughs> Alright, see you all next time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one. Have Be a nice day. Be safe and stay healthy. Bye.